Welcome back everyone, Zaf here. In just a moment, the Tau Slime Pass will end and we'll have access to Robin. I'm very excited for this new slime since Robin shows amazing promise and in just a moment we should get the pop-up here. Let's see if it does come up and there we go. We have our new SS grade slime, Robin here to deal some nice damage. Now let's go ahead and purchase some and just for some clarification, the premium slime passes are some of the best things you can purchase. I don't recommend purchasing the Premium Pass Plus. It isn't that good of a value. You really don't get too much for your purchase, so stick with the basic Premium Pass. So give me a second to purchase Robin. And there we go. Payment successful. We're about to get Robin popping up on our screen. Perfect. Let's unlock this amazing slime. And the reason why I do say amazing is due to their ability here. Damage is increased by 75% on subsequent uses, meaning Robin technically does have infinite potential for slime legion but when it comes to sage bosses we'll have to see just how good they are and speaking of slimes if you have yet to unlock love cat i do recommend dropping down your furrow code that way your code does get seen and used much quicker and if you are subscribed to the channel i'll pin your comment to the top that way everyone sees your code and it gets used even quicker and also be sure to join our discord server as well we have over 10,000 members in there as we do have a dedicated text channel for furrow codes so be sure to join our server and post it there as well so first off let's do a quick benchmark we have one ao attack i just want to see how much damage we gain from the slime promotions robin's own effects aren't too bad we get some critical damage skill damage and more crit and attack a very well balanced own effect loadout you can see we do gain a little bit of damage from that and as we go ahead and upgrade more we gain around another five percent boost in damage and another small boost there crit does provide more of a boost so let's go and promote this is where the bulk of our damage does come from a very nice gain there we're going to do all our promotions since we do have an absolute ton of slime tiers we are currently at 4.1k and with all these new slimes being released it's very beneficial to have a ton of slime tiers on hand because the devs have been very generous they keep pumping out free slimes which i know we have all been appreciating very much it's a nice change from how the game was before where we hardly got any new slimes we had to wait months and months for general events such as easter or the first year anniversary but nowadays we're getting a bunch so our damage has been skyrocketing so with our slime now about to hit level 200 we're going to jump into some sage wasp battles after we do apply our mastery points that way we can see how good robin really is now before we do that i'm going to push with ignis because we did get around a three times damage multiplier so we should be able to push in sage bosses one thing i do want to note is that i basically went all hp for this run here that is because i don't want to have to switch out our mask i'm going to keep in folksy mask and not do the swapping trick with kitsune mask just to make sure we get the best result here that way we survive for the full stage boss run because i'm sure many of you have seen our previous videos we no longer survive a full stage boss battle these stage bosses nowadays are just too strong and our HP is far too low to survive any longer. So basically we get around 1 to 2 skills off before the stage boss does defeat us. So I want to have enough HP to survive the whole battle. That way we can see how much damage Robin can do. And the same goes for Ignis who is the current best slime for me. So it'll be a very interesting comparison seeing how great Robin does perform. But again I'm not concerned about stage boss battles for Robin. What I'm very curious about is their slime legion potential i feel like we can push infinitely with robin probably not but that's just wishful thinking because our current best slime for slime legion which is farmer as everyone does know that is because of their doubling effect for their slime skill but it is capped at eight times whereas robin doesn't have any caps to their slime skill it just increases their damage on subsequent uses at least that is how we think their slime skill works which we will see shortly now with that very nice damage boost we're just plowing through stages right now hopefully we hit our cap soon because i really want to test out robin i know for a fact their slime skill is going to look amazing based on how the devs have been treating each new slime making slime skills and evolutions look great the art team legend of slime has is truly fantastic and no i'm not paid to say that i do genuinely think their art is amazing i've never looked at something and said wow that looks bad well actually i'm sure there's one or two slimes that made me think that probably reskins like newbie who is a very basic slime but that's okay he is our first f-rank slime so it's an april fool's gag so that really doesn't matter otherwise if you look at the 
the new evolutions. They truly look great. They put a lot of thought and effort into all of them. All right, without any damage tricks, it looks like we're going to end up at Merciless 1, Stage 3-4. And I'm going to let you know what we left the Sage Moss at in just a moment. But actually, I almost made a mistake there. Let's swap out Ignis' Slime Toy. We're going to put on Bunny Slime Toy onto Ignis. That way, we don't get the boost here, giving Ignis further slime skill damage. So I'm going to swap their toys, quickly change that back onto Bunny. That way, we don't get those boosts. And now, we can have a fair comparison between Robin and Ignis. So jumping back into the Sage Boss battle, let's see how Ignis does perform. And actually, I did drop a few Sages, because with our toy swapped, we did lose a bit of HP. All right, with Bunny Slime Toy equipped onto Ignis to make the comparison fair, Ignis was able to drop the Sage Boss to 49.2 AK HP remaining. So let's switch to Robin and see how they perform. This is the first time I'm seeing their Slime Skill, and wow, they use their Slime Skill right away when they spawn into the battle. That's actually very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a Slime do that, and I do wonder if the stacking effect keeps going on these battles. I did see 893 AO attack and what's interesting is Robin is probably great for farming these defeat enemies because as their damage stacks from subsequent slime skill uses they're just going to deal infinite damage so I wonder if we just stay in this battle will we hit a damage cap eventually I'm not sure well let's go ahead and equip the proper toy so we get a fair comparison and jump into the sage boss battle uh, again right away Robin uses their slime skill no delay at all it's a very fast acting slime skill dropping on the enemy right away but it does seem that for sage boss battles i don't expect robin to perform too well and yeah, unfortunately, Robin's slime skill wasn't doing too much. I think the best way to test it is to take off all our skills and companions. This way we can isolate how much damage Robin does. I might actually keep our companions so we do get to keep that damage. So I'm going to turn off 2 times speed. And as the Sage Moss approaches us, let's see how much damage Robin's skill does. So it does deal around AP damage. Our companions are doing AO damage. So let's watch carefully for the first skill proc. It's so hard to see if the darn daily mission here but hopefully now we can see it and it dropped i did see around the ap damage mark so let's see if that goes any higher hopefully it does again it's very hard to say if their damage is increasing i'm actually going to jump into slime legion that'll be a much better comparison but at least we do know for sure when it does come to stage boss battles robin is not the slime you want to use so now i'm going to switch to our usual slime legion lineup where i do have serpine to the front i'm going to go into slime legion and and instead of using Farmer, I'm going to switch over to Robin because we're not going to beat any Slime Legion Sages without Farmer. So switching over to Robin is a true test to see if we can progress. So to start things off, nothing is really going to happen. The enemy's HP is not going to fall as you see here. It's a little hard to see actually if all the knockback we do have. But eventually as Robin's Slime Skill does start to stack, if the 75% boost does keep applying, then we'll definitely see some higher damage numbers. So I will cut back as the damage stacks, so we know for sure if their damage is going to be increased or not. Well, I do have unfortunate news. I have been in the Slime Legion run for quite some time now, and I actually don't think that Robin's Slime skill has a stacking effect. At least it doesn't feel that way. It's really hard to focus on the numbers here, uh, especially when Robin does miss half the time, but I have been in this match for quite some time now, and Robin hasn't done any significant damage. The HP on these minions should have dropped by now, uh, especially with all these stacks Robin has had on the enemies. Robin has definitely used a slime skill close to 100 times now, so he should be dealing more damage, especially if that 75% bonus keeps on stacking, but it does seem like it's only a flat 75% boost, because right now the enemy's HP is not moving at all. With 8 stacks, Farmer would be decimating the enemies, but with close to 100 stacks, Robin is doing nothing, so I guess Robin isn't actually that good of a slime. We were way too hopeful. He could be bugged for all we know, but based on how the slime skill description was, intended it for it to be a flat boost instead of a stacking boost, because otherwise it would be very, very OP. And real quick everyone, it's editorial Zaf here. I want to confirm that Robin's slime skill damage is not a glitch, it's intended. Watch the corner of the screen here. Robin's slime skill will deal 45.4 AO damage. Now watch the next slime skill come in. It should deal 79.5 AO damage which is exactly 1.75 times the damage. Now watch on the next slime skill use, which is coming up here. Robin slime skill will deal the same damage, which is 79.5 AO damage. 
That is, because Robin Slime Skill is not a stacking effect, it's only a one-time use, so the damage is increased by 75% on subsequent uses, meaning after the first time the Slime Skill is used, you'll receive a 75% damage buff and not a stacking effect. This just confirms it. As every single time Robin does use a slime skill, it's just the same 79.5 number. We were hopeful that it was a sacking effect, but unfortunately it is not. So yeah, looks like Robin is just a mid-tier slime. If they do boost slime legion, they'll be a solid slime legion slime, boosting farmer's skill damage even more. But otherwise, they're really not that good. They're just an average slime that we're used to. Still great value to get, but not as good as we initially thought. They're probably just a regular A tier your slime unless their skill is bugged but just based on this test as we keep talking about robin their damage has not increased at all and just as a comparison i'm going to switch over to farmer just so you understand how their damage should be uh, again farmer does cap their slime skill at eight uses so robin should have decimated the enemies ages and ages ago so let's escape from this dungeon and fix up our lineup putting farmer on the front lines and i'm going to take the same enhancement as before 35 percent hp and let's see how long this battle does take. So far, Farmer has used a slime skill twice. I'll give you a countdown on each time he does use it. That's the third time there. So our damage will slowly start to stack. That's the fourth use of their slime skill. There goes number five. And that is number six. We're about to hit the cap slowly. That's number seven. And number eight just got launched. And you saw there the enemies are starting to lose HP. That only did take eight stacks. Whereas Robin was in the battle for such a long time time. You can see once the enemies do pop up, their HP is significantly dropped. It does take some time, but with the way farmer skill is, they have the highest potential damage in Slime Legion. That is why we use them on our lineup. So it does look like Robin Slime skill does not have a stacking effect, at least one that is multiplicative, because as you can clearly see with farmer, we're only about a minute into this battle, and the enemies are almost at half HP, whereas Robin couldn't do anything close to this with such a longer battle time frame. Anyways, yeah, that was it for today's video. I just wanted to show you Robin doing a quick test to see how good they are. They're just a very mid-tier slime, unless they are somehow glitched, which I do doubt. So if you are on the fence about purchasing them, and they're going to be the only slime you purchase, I do recommend holding off to another slime. But if you are a regular slime pass purchaser, you might as well go ahead and purchase them, since slime passes are the best value in this game right now. Now, if you did enjoy this video, I do recommend and subscribing to the channel that way i do know you want more legend of slime content like this and be sure to like the video as well and drop a comment on what you think this is zaf signing out